I just want to share with you this technique I found using the media product. It creates some really, really cool backgrounds you can see on these hearts. Now for this demonstration we're going to be using the media interference colours. Um, we're going to be using violet, blue and turquoise for this one. And we're also going to be using the clear crackle glaze. Now this wooden heart has been painted first with thalo blue um, and I've allowed it to dry. Um, I'm just going to apply the crackle glaze on top. You want to be quite generous. Uh, it self levels so you don't have to worry too much about getting rid of brush strokes. It will just all sink down perfectly. Now the next stage, while the crackle glaze is still wet, is to start dropping interference paint into the wet crackle glaze. Now I've added a little tiny bit of water to the interference paints just to make them disperse more and you'll actually see them dispersing already. I would say around about 5-10% to 10 water works really well. Now it's important once you've added the interference colours uh, to the crackle glaze to let this piece dry and that's no heat drying whatsoever, just let it dry naturally. Because of the thickness of the crackle glaze it's going to take a while but it's definitely worth it. So I've speeded up the video here uh, while it's drying just so you can get an idea of, of the kind of reaction you're going to get. Once a piece is fully dried the interference colours become a lot more vibrant and you can experiment with lots of different colours and background colours on this. I've just stamped over the top of this with a, a, a script stamp use an archiver link. You can also try dropping interference uh, paint into the, the white crackle paste and this really gives you some cool effects as well. So have fun with this one. For more information about the media range please visit decoart.com